And hello everyone, Lights and Gear is back with another product review. And as you can see from the box, it's another My Boxer charger. I already own about three other My Boxer chargers since uh, since they entered the market about a year ago or so, and they've come out with uh, several good models here, which have uh, not not really changed the landscape of of chargers, but they've uh, certainly uh, been just as good as uh, as a lot of other particular brands, and um, I have been liking them quite quite a lot. So today we have the C412, which is one of their newest models. All their chargers are now available on Amazon, and it took them a while to get up to speed with that, but since they are, we can uh, go ahead and review them here. And as you can see, this has um, a power bank function, a part of it, so you can use it as that, and a standard charger as well. There's a lot to, to see on this particular unit. Um, information here on the back of the box. And if you want to look at all the particulars of it, you can check my written review at lightsandgear.com where I have it all spelled out as far as all the different functions. It'll um, take care of any and all types of NIMH and lithium-ion batteries. Uh, just one particular type uh, it does not do, but um, it does um, charge all the others up to either 4.2 for lithium-ion or 1.48 for an NIMH. And from the box here you can see that it uh, does the particular algorithms for the different types of batteries to make sure that they are charged correctly. It will also revitalize a snoozing battery or a dead battery or a zero voltage battery. So if you have one of those lying around which doesn't seem to be charging properly, the C412 is able to revive those particular batteries and if it can it will let you know but by and large it should be able to. Here's the instruction manual in the box which of course spells everything out and is very clear to see and read and all the features and functions are listed over here. It does go as high as 3 amps for fast charging and the power bank function is for use with the fourth slot. Now as far as the um, the three amps goes that will primarily be with the adapter that they furnish which is a rather large one it uh, has one of those big power bars to it as well as a standard cord so to get the three amps you would have to use their uh, their particular uh, adapter unless you happen to have one like that yourself but any standard adapter will work as long as the as long as the plug is the same, anything will work in the, in, in the unit. It just won't charge at that fast a charge. So if you're good with uh, one or two amps instead of three, then most uh, there, then any standard adapter will work. So of course here are all the different battery sizes that it takes. And it gives you the uh, information here on whether you want to let the charger select its own amperage or its own current for the battery or if you'd like to set that yourself you can do that obviously for smaller capacity batteries I think it's always best to let the charger select that on its own since it knows uh, what type of it knows how much current to put in a particular type of battery and um, for the larger ones of course you can probably change it or select it to, uh, to 3 amps if you wish but there are quite a bit of functions on it and of course you can read about those in depth and here of course it describes how it revitalizes a battery and so forth and so on and here it talks about the power bank function on the fourth slot so in the box of course we've already looked at the manual charger is right here among four bay chargers that I've seen it's it's a pretty standard size it's not terribly small because it will take um, all batteries of reasonable size and if you can see here if you can make this out that the slots are pretty deep so they do accommodate those sizes the springs are very good here within the slots 
you have a slot button right here which is the only button on the unit which changes it to, uh, to change the display with and on the top are your connectors here's your regular adapter connector there your wall adapter and here is your USB output or when you want to use the power bank you'll charge it and you'll use that there with a one amp output so those are the only slots and buttons on the unit as you can see elsewhere in the box we have the adapters and here's the here's the the, the, the power bar I was talking about so this is a pretty good size as you can see because it goes the 12 volt 12 volt DC and the 5 amp and here's the connection on the back with the other part of the cord to connect in there so as long as you have another adapter around the house which uses the same size as this plug um, which is which is standard for most that you do get these days it is the standard size so anything else will work it just won't be able to uh, power it with the three amps most likely at least so let me plug it in but I will do so with with a standard adapter again same size so there you go there's your there's your raw display with of course nothing going on just showing all four bays and the name so as soon as you put the battery in let's start with a couple of large ones I have some 26650's here so put another 26650 here put another one in and as you can see two of them fit side by side you can put four of them all side by side if you wish so those are the largest size lithiums that I have and as you can see they fit very well and so as you put a battery in the display livens up and goes through its paces here here's your slot button so you can toggle back between one and two one and two two and one you know or how many batteries you have in here we'll put a couple more in here in a second but for the most part it tells you the temperature of the battery and it gives you all the information here regarding its uh, current voltage it's uh, it, the amount of amperage that it's that, 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 that it's putting in and of course uh, shows you the battery resistance as well so there's your current power it's putting in at 1.5 so it's already putting almost two amps in there and uh, there's your battery voltage and your resistance and over here is showing the uh, accumulated capacity of course that the battery is accepting and here's your charging time and the percentage of charge in the battery at the moment toggle back of course and you'll get slightly different bits of information 19 percent for that one eight percent for this one and and again everything over here will change slightly too when all is said and done it'll say full down here so you'll know obviously when the battery is finished and it will show the ending voltage as well and of course the accumulated capacity and will say full down here and will still give the battery temperature now you could put any number of other size batteries in here as well and over here I have a, a, a very um, generic NIMH battery so we can put that in and that's gone into slot 3 and of course it changes over here to NIMH whereas the other ones said uh, lithium ion so there NIMH in slot oops didn't change there we go NIMH now in slot number 3 and you can see the information on on this particular battery at 1.27 volts and 708 for resistance so this battery is pretty cheap and is uh, 708 is pretty high on resistance so or 706 yeah and of course the temperature of the battery now if I take uh, an even smaller type cell like a 16340 here there's a lithium ion 16340 so we could put that in and already that's lighting up with slot number four 
and again there's your resistance which is very high because it's a not a very um, good battery overall and of course over here it'll start to uh, fill that in when it, when it begins to uh, accumulate a bit of um, a bit of charge and then of course is your charging time it's 84 percent charged and uh, the voltage it's only putting in 10 amps at the moment 0 0.10 0 0.10 and is already up to uh, to over 4 volts or 4 4 volts at the moment and any number of other batteries of course can be put in we could take out the NIMH and we could put in a 16340 I don't mean a 16340 I mean a 18650 so there's here here's an 18650 now in slot number three and that's at 3.66 volts and 28 degrees is the battery temperature and it's charged at 27 percent so as you can see it handles um, all these slots independently of course it, it will independently tell you of course when each one reaches capacity and uh, puts full in the display now if you want to read about this a little further and uh, many of its um, features and whatnot you can uh, check those out on my written review at lightsandgear.com with some additional pictures and whatnot. Um, and you can also pick one of these up at Amazon, for instance. I do have a link below for that, and that's also in my written review. And, of course, on my website are, are some of the other my boxer chargers that we've taken a look at over the past few months. So, overall, I think this is a, a very good charger. It's certainly one that I do plan on using quite frequently, as I've been using the previous versions which I've had, which have mostly been uh, two-slot chargers. Um, I do have another four-slot, though, and as I say, the, they're, all, they're all equally as good. So, this has been the C412 charger from my boxer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do appreciate... Uh, do appreciate you being here and hope you've enjoyed this particular video for the MyBoxer C412. Alright, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.